This is part 78 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the jQuery slider widget. Here is what we want to achieve. We want to increase and decrease the font size using this jQuery slider. Let's see how to achieve this. So the first thing to do here is to get that slider widget on our page. So I'm going to include a div element. Let's give it an ID. Let's set this to slider. Within our jQuery ready function, I'm going to find the div element by ID. So the ID of the div element is slider. So we're going to use the jQuery ID selector, find that, and on that, I'm going to call slider function. Let's save the changes and reload this page. So this should give us the jQuery slider widget on this page. Now, let's go ahead and include an HTML break Let's include another div element. Let's give this an ID. Let's call this my div. I'm also going to set the style attribute. I'm going to set the initial font size to 20 pixels. And let's include some text here, slider widget. So let's save the changes, reload this page. So. As we keep sliding the slider to the right, we want to increase the font size. When we slide it to the left, we want to decrease the font size. Now, the slider widget has got lots of options and events. Now, I want to enforce a minimum and a maximum value for the slider. By default, the minimum value of the slider is 0 and the maximum value is 100. For the purpose of this demo, we're going to set the minimum value to 20 pixels. Because let's assume the font size of this development cannot go 20 pixels. So let's set the minimum value of the slider to 20. And to do that, I'm going to use a JavaScript object, pass that to the slider function. And the option that I'm going to use to set the minimum value is min. And the minimum value is going to be 20. Max value is going to be 120. Now, when we slide this either to the right or the left, an event is triggered and that is slide event. So we want to handle that event. So let's go ahead and specify that. So we want to handle the slide event. So let's associate a function with that event. So this is our event handler function. This event handler function is going to receive two parameters. The event itself is the first parameter. And the second parameter is going to be the UI element that triggered the event. In this case, we know that the DUI element that triggered this slide event is the jQuery slider widget. This object, that is this parameter UI, has got value property, which is going to give us the slider value and we're going to use that value, set that as the font size for the div element. So we need to find this div element. This div element has got an ID. So let's use the jQuery ID selector, find this div element. The ID of the div is my div. And on this, I'm going to call CSS function and let's specify the CSS property that we want to set. So the CSS property that we want to set is font hyphen size. And we want to set that to the value you know, that the slider has at the moment. And to get that value, we can use the second parameter, UI. So UI.value is going to give us the numerical value of the slider. But if you look at the font size, you know, it's not just the number. We also need to append those two uh, characters, PX for pixels. So I'm going to append those two characters here, PX, OK? So let's save the changes, reload this page, and look at what's going to happen when we move the slider to the right. The font size decreases. And when we move it to the left, the font size decreases. So the slider widget has got loads of options and events. For the complete list, please visit this URL right here. We have already discussed this min option. This enforces the minimum value for the slider. The default, if you don't specify any, is 0. Max specifies the maximum value for the slider. The default is 100. Orientation, this is going to specify what type of slider do you want. Do you want a horizontal slider or a vertical slider? The default is horizontal if you don't specify 1. So let's go ahead and specify orientation as vertical. So this should give us a vertical slider. Let's save those changes, reload this page, and we should get a vertical slider. 
and here we have the events that the slider widget supports start this event is triggered when the user starts sliding stop triggered when the user stops sliding slide triggered on every mouse move during slide. Now let's look at an example of handling these three events, start, stop, and slide. So as we slide the slider, we want to display the start, stop, and slide values. And for that, we need three div elements. So let's go ahead and include those three div elements on the page. So I'm going to remove this div element from here, include another div, let's give it an ID. Let's call this div start. Let's make two more copies of this div. And let's call the second div, div stop. And let's call the last div, div slide. So we have got those three div elements. And as we slide, what do we want to do? We want to find this div element and display the current slider value. So the ID of the div elements is uh, div slide. And I'm going to use the HTML function and let's append the select text slide equals UI dot value. Okay, so that should give us the current slider value at that point. Okay, so I'm going to make two more copies of this. So to handle start event we specify the event name as the option here, start, and we are associating a callback function. Again, this function receives the same two parameters. So here we want to find div start div element, and it's going to be start equals whatever is the start value. Similarly, we want to handle the stop event, and in this case, we want to find a div element with ID div stop and the text is going to be stop equals whatever is the stop value. Okay, so let's save the changes. Reload our web page. So let's change the orientation of the slider. Let's actually remove that altogether. By default, we will get a horizontal slider. So let's reload this page. And look at this, as we start sliding, we get start. So we started at 20, that's the minimum value. And we stopped at 28, right? And as we keep sliding, notice that the slide value keeps increasing, but not the start and stop. We started at 28, stopped at 50, and the current slide value is 50. So we are handling all the three events. Thank you for listening and have a great day.